Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd My beloved brothers and sisters in Islam Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh It's imperative As brothers and sisters to Advise one another When we make mistakes, when we fall into error and to want good for one another because the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said a deen and nasiha qala liman qala lillahi wa li kitabihi wa li rasulihi wa li a'immatul muslimin wa ammatihim the Prophet Alaihi Salatu Wasallam said the religion is sincere advice and they asked the Sahaba Radiallahu Ta'ala Anhum Ajma'een to who? The Prophet ﷺ said to Allah and to his messenger and to the imams of the Muslims or the leaders of the Muslims and the general Muslims. So nasiha ayyul habba and sincerity and practicing Islam and advising one another is a part of Islam and is imperative. And in response to some of the outcry some of our brothers and sisters have had with regards to defending uh, brother Imran Hussein may Allah guide him and guide us I mean it's imperative that we make our judgments and form our opinions based upon knowledge based upon kitab Allah wa sunnah Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the methodology of the salaf of this ummah Imran Hussein if we look at the evidence, put him on the scale of evidence and see what he's talking about, we see that he has no salaf for what he's talking about. He discusses things and dis and speaks about the ulama of Ahl Sunnah with disregard for their knowledge and disregard for the path and the methodology that they've laid down, the people before us laid down. So it's not about our desires and about how we feel and how good the lecture sounded and how politically accurate it was and how what kind of political analysis but in fact does it conform with the Quran does it conform from the Sunnah and does it conform with the methodology of the Salaf and if we come up with the answer that no then we leave it if we come up with the answer that yes it's in conformity with Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Madhab of the Salaf of this Ummah beginning with the Sahaba Radiallahu Ta'ala Anhum Ajma'een then we accept it and here's a beautiful statement of Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah which verifies this and you cannot compare Imran Hussein or any of these other preachers modern day preachers or what have you anywhere in comparison to these great Imams who defended Islam and preserved Islam يقول Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah رحمه الله تعالى جمال فرقان بين الحق والباطل وهدى والضلال ورشاد وغي وطريق السعادة والنجاة وطريق الشقاوة والحلاك أن يجعل ما بعث الله به رسله وأنزل به كتبه هو الحق الذي يجب اتباعه وبه يحصل الفرقان والهدى والعلم والإيمان فيصدق بأنه حق وصدق وما سواه من كلام سائر الناس يعرض عليه فإن وافقه فهو حق وإن خالفه فهو الباطل وإن لم يعلم هل هو وافقه أو خالفه لكون ذلك الكلام مجملا لا يعرف مراد صاحبه أو قد عرف مراده ولكن لم يعرف هل جاء رسول صلى الله عليه وسلم بتصديقه أو تقديره فإنه يمسك فلا يتكلم إلا بالعلم والعلم ما قام عليه دليل والنافع منه ما جاء به رسول صلى الله عليه وسلم In this beautiful statement of Shaykh al-Islam Ibn Taymiyyah رحمه الله تعالى He said that the putting together of the criterion between truth and falsehood, between guidance and misguidance, between 
right guidedness in that which is unclear. And the path of happiness and success and the path of remorse and destruction is that a person makes that which Allah sent to his messengers and revealed in his books the truth takes that to be the truth which it's an obligation to follow and with this they will find the criterion and the guidance and knowledge and iman faith and believe that which is in it to be the truth and that is that which is truthful and anything other than it meaning other than the Quran and the Sunnah from the statements of anyone else should be placed on that scale looked at it within that uh, that criterion and if it is in accordance with it then it's the truth and if it differs with it then it is batal it's falsehood and if a person does not know whether it is in agreement with the Quran and the Sunnah or whether it differs with it because the statement is very general and they don't know what is meant by the person who is uttering the statement then and if they do not know did the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam verify this thing that this this person is saying or did he declare that this thing that the person is saying is a lie then the then we should keep silent then a person should keep silent about these things and do not speak except with knowledge and knowledge it is what is supported by quran by by evidence by dalil and dalil ayu al habba is the quran and the sunnah and the ijma of the ulama and qiyas as sahih and then he said rahimallahu ta'ala wa nafa' minhu ma ja'a bihi rasul sallallahu alayhi wasallam and that which is benefit from all of this from the, this evidence and so forth is what was came with the messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam with the messenger alayhi salatu wasallam was sent with so ayu al habba that's our criterion that's how we look anyone what i'm saying you have to put it on the scale of the quran and the sunnah and the understanding of the salaf what imran hussein says then put it on the scale of uh the quran and the sunnah what maghribi institute uh utters put it on that scale what the sufis utter put it on that same scale what jamaat at tabliq says put it on the scale what akhwan muslimin says put it on the scale what the takfiris say put it on the scale Salafi publications put it on the scale medina.com put it on the scale whatever group sect hizb party organization or dai person who calls to the who calls to islam whatever they say put it on that same scale and if you can answer that it's in agreement with the quran and the sunnah of the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam then follow it and if it is in contradiction to it then leave it because then it is falsehood and we ask allah the almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam